good morning. So our lesson for today is solving problems about proportional relationships. So in this lesson, we have two objectives. So the first one is that you will be able to write an equation in the form y equals kx. And then the second one is you will be using that equation to solve problems about proportional relationships. So let's start with our first objective. So how are you going to write an equation out of the given out of a given situation or word problem? So the hint or the clue there is that you have to check the given unit rate. For example, you have a very long word problem. All you have to do is check for the unit rate. For example, the given unit rate is $15 per hour so this is what you need in writing your equation so to write the equation what is the number about $15 so th this is the amount so therefore you will have a equals and then what number do you have what is the unit rate 15 and then per hour so 15 per hour or 15 h Okay, so that is how simple it is to make an equation. Another example. For example, in a given word problem, the unit rate is, let's say it says there, 45 pages per hour. So this time, we are talking about pages the number of pages so 45 pages so therefore it's p equals and then what number do we have 45 and then the one with per or each or one that is the variable that will go with your k so here per hour so 45 h there next what if we have in a given word problem it says there five push-ups per minute so again we are talking of push-ups so therefore in your equation it's p for push-ups equals then what number do we have five and then it says per minute so this is the one with per so minute will come with your k so per minute m stands for minute so this is your equation now let's have example number one in using an equation to solve a word problem so example number one suppose the given problem is Loy is collecting 25 aluminum cans to recycle every week. So again, the given is 25 aluminum cans, aluminum cans every week. How many cans will he be able to collect in one month? So the question is, how many cans in one month? Remember that one month is equal to four weeks. So how are we going to answer this problem? So step one, first, write down the given. We already have our given here. The unit rate is 25 aluminum cans every week. And then one month, which is equivalent to four weeks. Step two, write your equation down. So looking at your unit rate, our equation is, we are talking about aluminum cans. Therefore, it's A for aluminum cans equals, what is our unit rate? 25. So 25. 25 what? Every week. So 25 cans every week. So 25 W. So that is our equation. Now step three, use the equation to solve the problem. So the question here is, how many aluminum cans in four weeks? 
So to answer the problem, just plug in the number of wicks here in your equation. So we are searching for the aluminum cans equals copy 25. And then instead of W, we are going to write down the given, which is 4 wicks. So 25 W means 25 times 4. And then solving that one, A or aluminum cans is equal to 25 times 4 is 100. Therefore, Loy will be able to collect 100 aluminum cans aluminum cans in one month so this is your final answer you have to write down what is that 100 okay next example number two so example number two suppose the given word problem is Yami saves $0.50 every day on his piggy bank. So let us write that unit rate. It says 0 0.50. This is his savings every day. So every day. So per day, he is saving 50 cents. Now the question is, how long will it take him to save $25? So we are talking of $25 savings. There. So to solve this problem, again, the first step is write down the given. So it's already here. We have here 50 cents savings every day and then $25 savings. Second step, write the equation. So again, the equation will come from the given. So it says here, 0 0.50 savings. So we are talking of savings. So S equals. And then every day is 50 cents. So 0 0.5 D, which means day. Per day is 50 cents. Now, third step. After getting your equation, plug in the value to solve for the problem. So $25 is your savings. So that means that is to be plugged in here. That is the value of S. So instead of S, you will write down the number, the value, which is 25 equals, and then copy the rest of the equation, 0.5D. Now, to solve for D, we have here, so 25 equals 0.5D. To solve for D, we have to get rid of 0.5 here by dividing both sides of the equation by 0.5. So, this will be canceled out and V will be left. And then dividing this, 25 divided by 0.5 will give us 50. So therefore, therefore, it will take 50 days for Yami, 50 days to save $25, okay? So this time, it's the opposite. We are searching for the variable on the left side. So we will be doing the opposite operation, which is division. Next. Last example, example number three. So this is the problem. A doctor measured a patient's resting pulse at 80 beats per minute. So 80, so write it down, 80 beats, heartbeats per minute. So this is the given unit rate and then Estimate how many times a patient's heart will beat in 15 minutes. So the given is 15 minutes. How many heartbeat is that? So again, first step, write down the given, which is already here. 
Second step, write your equation. Again, your equation will come from the given unit rate. We are talking of the heartbeat. So, beat. So, therefore, it's B. Equals. How many is given? 80. So, 80. And then it says per minute. So, M. M stands for minute. So, one minute is 80 beats. Now, the question is, how many beats in 15 minutes? So, plug in the value of M, which is 15. So, B equals 80 times 15. So, that will give us B is equal to 1,200. So, therefore, there will be 1,200 beats in 15 minutes. So, again... In our lesson, first objective is write the equation. In writing the equation, it depends on the given unit rate. So first variable is what are you talking about? For example, in this given, the, the given uh, topic is about heartbeat. So it's B equals. Then what is the given unit rate? It says here 80. So write it down. And then 80 what? Per what? Again, the second variable, that is the one with per, each, or one. So in the given, it's per minute, so 80 M. And then second step, after writing down your equation, you're going to solve, okay? Answer the question using the given equation. So just plug in the numbers, solve, and you will have the final answer. So that's it. Be ready for tomorrow. Goodbye.